Hello, so I'll be trying to create concept art from this prompt and this is the result that we're gonna get. You can see on the screen, I actually don't know what it will look like, but this is generally kind of like a walkthrough on how I think about these things and kind of generally go through this workflow. So to start, I'm gonna open Stable Diffusion, of course, so I'm gonna have this open. You can see I have already tested some props. Then besides that, I'm going to open um, an image editing program. You can use this with Krita, which I have here. You can use it with Photoshop. You can use it with Photopea or Photopi, um, which is a, a free Photoshop alternative. Anything will do basically. And as a start, I will use a document on a 512 by 512 dimensions. Now that I have it here, um, the main thing that I want to use is the image to image. When you're painting with AI, image to image is like your best friend. I generally don't use text to image all that much. I use like most of my work in the image to image tab, which you can see over here. Uh, it, it's the second tab um, on the web UI. Of course, you can start generating some like rough ideas from text to image so i'm gonna put this prompt over here i'm just using a different model called redshift style um like the trigger word is redshift style using redshift diffusion but of course you can use other models it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna click on generate for the parameters use dpm plus plus 2m caras with around kind of like 15 or 12 kind of sampling steps. Now, um, it's not that useful because it used a person with it. Maybe we just need to increase the batch size, increase it to eight, then click on generate. This is mainly just to have some sort of base to work with because you can't have, you can't use image to image without a certain base. And for some reason it got stuck. All right, so we have a bunch of weird concept art here. Um, not really what we're looking for. So text to image doesn't work it's, since it's a pistol crossbow. Maybe the model doesn't really know what that thing looks like. So we're going to kind of help it through image to image. And you can do that by painting it yourself. So something like this. I'm going to create a new layer from visible. In Krita, you can do that by going over here on layer, new, new layer from visible. Then I'm going to control A, then control C to copy then go to image to image tab, then paste it over here. Now uh, you can see I just used like a general black color, uh, mainly because I wanted to kind of define the shape. And for the denoising strength, it's kind of like um, the AI is squinting harder and harder, the higher you put this um, number. So if it's like 0.9 or like one, it's going to squint really hard. It's as if it's not really seeing the picture. But if you put it low, kind of like 0 0.3, um, it will kind of stay within the general shape that you gave it, but have a bit more creative freedom with it. So to show you what I mean, let's put it at 7 and click on Generate. Here, um, it's also struggling really hard to create what we're looking for doesn't know what a pistol or a crossbow is, I think. So maybe let's just put makeshift crossbow and see if that kind of changes anything. It's struggling still. It's still putting like a trigger, a handle to it. I'm not sure why. So let's actually just make it around 0.5 and see if that changes anything. So you can see this is more of like an iterative process, more trial and error. Um, where you're kind of testing if the AI understands what you're trying to communicate. Here it's a little bit better, but you know, mainly because I've given it a bigger constraint. So let's use this one. So I'm going to use this one, then actually reuse it as the input. And what I, I can do that by going over here on send to image to image. Now it's not, now it's the like image to image input and I can start generating again having a hard time still. So maybe let's try using a different model and maybe Redshift Diffusion is struggling with prop concept art. So let's try, try seventh layer. And for anime models, generally you want to use 
use its VAE. So let's go to over here on the settings on the SDVAE on the stable diffusion um, category. Either anime or orange mix will work. Usually you'll see this alongside the model in Civit AI. They'll have the VAE over there or someone can just link it. Generally, all anime models use the same VAE. So once you download it once, you'll just need to select it whenever you select uh, an anime based model. So let's go back here. And actually, um, for anime models, you'll need a specific um, negative prompt. Like the negative prompts are really important for them. So let me just search it. And here you can see um, the model maker showed um, what negative prompt to use. So I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to remove redshift style. Then let's try and generate it again. All right, this is working much better. We're having a more interesting shape. It's understanding the kind of geometry that um, we implied in our initial sketch. But also that's just one of the techniques. You can also just use an existing image you found on Pinterest or Google search. For example, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to copy this. Oh wait, I'm going to create a new layer from visible. Uh, select all with control A, control C to copy. Then paste it over here again. Let's try if that changes anything. Um, it kind of lost the other part, the crossbow. So maybe let's put it down. Maybe a bit higher than that kind of like a 4.2. Then once you have something you like, maybe I like this one on the lower left. I'm going to copy this one, paste it over here, then paint over it. So what if I want, say, I want to add some sort of um, scope over here. So I can just draw that in. Use like this red thing to create this crosshair. Then I want the handle to have more of an angle to it something like this then i want this part to be um, more metallic kind of like a shiny metal i'm gonna select it then add some sort of gradient to it a bit of shine something like that then maybe we can add a bit of rust and do the same thing for the other side and let's remove this part and there we go i'm gonna send this back to image to image paste it here then click on generate kind of like this one the most so let's copy that. And of course, you can do that over and over again until you have something that um, you really like. And of course, you can do lots of variations on designs now that you have AI because, you know, you have the power of image to image. But let's say the art director wants something different. They want it to have, um, they want you to put it on a first person view because this is a first person shooter and they want to see the crossbow in first person view. And in order to do that, you'll need to have some sort of 3D model to kind of manipulate the perspective. Because you can search and search around Pinterest or around Google to see if they have an image that you can work with. But generally, um, you'll have a harder time with that. So I recommend is going to Sketchfab and looking for a specific model that you're already working with. So let's say I want a pistol crossbow of course and i can just open a specific model then arrange it in a way so that i can see it in first person let's put it somewhere like this then screenshot it then paste it over here just gonna fill in the blanks so the ai doesn't get confused of course you can kind of um, erase the entire thing i can erase the entire background so you'll have a cleaner background to work with depends up to you but for now, let's just um, stick with what we have right here. So um, I'll be transferring this to Stable Diffusion again. Click on Generate. Now we have something like this, which is kind of interesting. I'll use this one on the lower left, then send it to image to image, then generate again. You can see it's trying to create like new characters, but I didn't really show that there's any characters. You can put that over here like one boy or one girl or person. Click on generate again, still adding. But anyway, I think we're okay with this one. So I'm just gonna copy this one for now, or maybe just lower the denoising strength. Let's do it one last time. And they all look pretty much the same. So I'm just gonna copy one. 
copy image, paste it over here. Then let's say I want to have um, a particular um, color. Say I want this to be green, like a really bright green. The thing with image to image is you can only change the shape, but the color you really need to edit it on your own. So you, what you can do is by using you know whatever image editing program that you have you can just go to the blend mode then choose color then maybe add like this green color on top maybe it's kind of like a, a toxic type of crossbow then let me just edit it a bit more and refine this this to be and add back the um kind of trigger and maybe adjust the proportions a bit a bit thinner then add some sort of um, thing over here maybe like some sort of reticle something like that then i'm gonna copy this paste it over here again and click on generate i forgot to change the denoising strength so let's bump that back up and i think i like this one the most and you can see um, it changed color which is really really nice but we had to do that manually first before um, Stable Diffusion kind of understood what we're trying to do. Because you can't really change the color um, through image to image by just prompting it. You really need to change the color of the input image um, itself. And maybe for now, I'm just going to add a bit of contrast. I had an error with the VAE, which kind of led to weaker colors. So I'm just going to pump that back up. Then have a bit more saturation and i think i'm just gonna call that about finished if you've come this far make sure to leave a like and if you want to see more videos like this one make sure to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye bye